James, for the second time in just a few days, Dunfermline win 1-0 here at KDM Group East End Park. Just your thoughts on today's game, please. First and foremost, I'm delighted it's three points. I'm delighted the players have, have got what I keep going on about that they've deserved over over a period of time um, in certain games, which is a three points and a victory. So uh, I think we have played better um, in lost games. There's certain ones spring to mind that we've been better in, we've been just not clinical enough, as I've come out and said on many occasions. But I think today was a real a real show of character from the players. And I thought we were the better team in the game. I'll watch it back and I'll give an honest assessment when I speak to you through the week again for, for the press. But just watching it for the side, I, I didn't feel at any point we were under real threat. Um, obviously, in the end, balls are coming into your box. You have to deal with them. But... Like, our, our back, a back three that changed into our back four, and our goalkeeper and the rest of the team defended really well, as they have been doing. Um, and then look, I think we scored a fantastic goal. It's a, it's a great finish from Lewis, good ball from Kieran, and Lewis showing his worth once again. As you said, Lewis McCann, second time in just a few days as well, being the match winner. Real good composure once again, like we spoke about on Tuesday night, to, to finish off one on one with the goalkeeper. Yeah, it is, it's a brilliant goal. Um, good run, and, and Using what Lewis is good at, that like that pace and running power, but it's a great pick out from Kieran as well. And then to to take the ball down and then to finish it the way he did, it's it's, it's a really good goal. Um, his goal the other other night was excellent as well. And like we see that every day from Lewis, and and, and we we always challenge him to be more more effective and when it comes to games and, and be greedy and get those goals and look at it's two two games in a week now that he's he scored the only goal in the game and I'm delighted for him because he like he's he's a great great lad to work with and he works ever so hard and you know like whether he's playing well or, or not like he's always giving you absolutely everything and he gets through a power of work on the pitch. Hence the reason he's in the team more often than not. So no delighted for him but delighted for them all collectively. It was great to see Chris Kane back in the starting lineup today again and then when he's replaced by Dapo Mabudi he put in a great power of work up front as well. It, it must be great for yourself to have so so much strength and depth and be able to, to change the team up throughout the game and, and still have that same rhythm to your play. Yeah, and, and you can change it in different ways as well. I believe now looking the the ones that aren't coming on that have been really good for us as well but they're all together they're all in there enjoying that win because it's I think it's an important one just down to the fact that, that we managed to, to hold on as well um, late on and, and that gives you confidence Look, like when you're getting two clean sheets in a week regardless of what level of opposition you're playing or where teams are in the league that, that, that gives you confidence I think since Benedictus has come back he's been excellent and he's now at the level where we need him um, but going back to Chris Kane, it was always a plan. Um, with the concussion, you, you, you're you're idle basically for four or five days doing nothing, and then you you gradually increase the the work that you're doing. But in terms of that, it goes from on a bike to jogging and and not doing more than an hour at certain points, and then just to pass all the all the protocols. And and look, when that happens, it, you're not training, you're not getting the 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 work into what you need then it obviously increases the chance or the likelihood of injury um, not not the concussion obviously because we, we had cleared that but any other injury so it was always a plan with Chris um, and, and look I had Craig Whiting to bring on I had Dapo Mabudi Taylor Sutherland that could have come on and, and replaced him so that, that was always going to be the plan um, I thought I thought he'd done well for the time he was on and, and he'll be better for it next week and you'll be really pleased to send the fans home happy twice in the space of just a few days here from KDM Group East End Park and great numbers here again today and, and just building on the two wins and looking forward to next week now. Yeah, that's what we do. That's what we we look we we analyse this one and we go over what could have been better, how how could we had more control at certain points in the game and then and then we move on to Air United. But I like the I say delighted for the players because they got what they deserved, but equally delighted for the fans because it's like I understand how tough it can be. Um, when you're, it's tough for me as well. It's tough for all my staff, and, and but probably the ones out in them all. That, and particularly last week, I was devastated for the players in at Hamden. You seen the, just the, the reaction at the end. They were all they were all gutted that they, they never get anything out of the game. Um, and then like we went through the week where it should have been more comfortable. We know that, so the fans go away, but probably a bit frustrated that we weren't, 
we were only scoring more goals but then today they, they, I think they saw a different type of performance as well and, and you need that in this league look that that's what this league's all about and let they'll go away look, they'll have a better Saturday night the players will have a better Saturday night all round so no that that's that and, and, and just probably one last thing I think it has to be said that that's been Matty Todd's best performance in a long time so I think we've we've finally got got Matty up to a level where where he or where we believe he can he can be at and look, he's, it's been tough for him for it, through injury but look, I, I, I don't want to say that about Lewis but, but Matt he's a great kid to work with always working really hard on his game and I think today you've seen the work he's been putting in that's, and I actually says to him it's probably up there with the best performance since I've been at the club from Matthew that I've seen um, and he was he was back to back to himself today and maybe a wee bit better. So the challenge now is for him to continue with that, which I'm sure he will, but but I was delighted for him today as well. So but yeah, delighted for myself, the the staff, the players, Matty, and most importantly the fans.